Stephen Bartlett, The Diary of a CEO, The 33 Laws of Business and Life. Everybody knows that success doesn't happen by chance and that the way there isn't exactly a stroll in the park. But what if we told you there are secret signposts, little nuggets of wisdom sprinkled along this path that can make your journey not just bearable but surprisingly efficient? In this blink, you'll delve into the nitty-gritty of what really propels people to the pinnacle of success. From the 33 laws presented by the author, we've chosen our favourite seven to share with you. These key insights offer a glimpse into the timeless wisdom that drives the world's most successful individuals. Success leaves clues, so let's start following the trail. Prioritise the sequence in which you fill your five buckets. Ever wondered why some people seem to have a Midas touch in their careers and personal growth? It's not just luck, it's about filling the right buckets, knowledge, skills, network, resources and reputation in a specific order. This systematic approach can unlock your potential and set you on the path to success and fulfillment. At the very outset, the most critical bucket to fill is knowledge. Think of it as the foundation of a skyscraper. The stronger the foundation, the higher you can build. Knowledge comes from education, from the relentless pursuit of learning. Now, as you're likely already brimming with knowledge, it's time to transform it into skills. These skills are like the tools in your toolbox, honed through practice and application. They make you valuable, not just in your own eyes, but in the eyes of others as well. Your growing expertise becomes a magnet, attracting people to your network. This is where the magic begins to unfold. With a robust network comes access to a plethora of resources. Resources can be tangible, like money or tools, or intangible, like advice or mentorship. Each resource you gather paves the way for greater achievements and opportunities. But wait, there's still one more bucket to fill. This is, of course, your reputation. It's the crown jewel, a testament to your knowledge, skills, network and resources. A strong reputation opens doors that were once closed and brings opportunities you never thought possible. However, beware of shortcuts. Attempting to skip ahead and fill a later bucket first, like taking a job just for money or status, leads to weak foundations. In this quest, knowledge and skills are your most reliable allies. They remain steadfast, immune to the ebbs and flows of fortune. Start by filling these buckets, and you're setting yourself up for a lifetime of potential and value. Don't state facts. Ask binary questions instead. Picture this. You're walking down the street and you see two signs. One reads, please recycle, and the other asks, will you recycle? Which one do you think is more compelling? Research suggests that the latter, a question, is far more effective in motivating behavior than a mere statement. Apparently, questions are not just a form of seeking answers. They are catalysts for action and change. That's the power of the question behavior effect, and it's exactly why you should be asking more and telling less. The question behavior effect is a psychological phenomenon that can subtly but significantly influence your actions. Why does this happen, you might be asking? It's all about the mental gymnastics your brain performs when faced with a question. When asked if you will do something, you're not just passively listening. Your mind starts to race, picturing yourself performing the action almost as if you're making a silent promise. Binary yes or no, questions are especially potent. There's no grey area, no room for excuses. You're cornered into a clear-cut decision. This technique capitalises on what's known as cognitive dissonance, the uneasy feeling you get when there's a mismatch between what you aspire to be and what you actually are. Here's how it works. When someone poses a question that links a certain behavior with your ideal self-image, it creates a kind of mental tension. You're then driven to answer yes and follow through to resolve that tension. Imagine applying the question behavior effect to your daily life. Instead of telling yourself, I will go to the gym today, ask, will I go to the gym today? Suddenly, you're not just planning, you're committing. You're shifting from passivity to action from telling to asking. 
So next time you want to motivate yourself or others, remember, the power lies not in the statement, but in the question. Leverage the Goldilocks effect when selling. What if the secret to making people buy from you was hidden in a children's story? Well, it turns out that what's known as the Goldilocks effect can be a powerful tool in encouraging buyer decisions. It encompasses a psychological phenomenon where people are most attracted to options that represent a moderate, middle-of-the-road choice. Not too extreme, but just right. Marketers and salespeople use this strategy to subtly guide purchasing decisions by presenting options that make the middle choice appear most attractive and reasonable. Imagine you're selling a new gadget. Leveraging the Goldilocks effect, you won't present only this gadget to the potential customer. You should present three choices instead. A high-end, expensive model, a basic, affordable version, and then the middle option, the gadget you want to sell. This middle one is neither too pricey nor too basic. It's just right. You cleverly positioned it to seem like the best value compared to its counterparts. Companies like Panasonic have mastered this art. They offer products at three different price points, and more often than not, the middle-priced item outsells the rest. Even though it's costlier than the basic model, it's perceived as a bargain compared to the high-end version. The Goldilocks effect plays on the perception of value. It distorts people's views, making the middle option seem the most reasonable and safe. This strategy banks on the fact that consumers often rely on context rather than rational analysis to make their choices. Make the Goldilocks effect work for you and watch as your sales go through the roof. Focus on the first five seconds of any marketing effort. Think fast. You've only got five seconds. In the dynamic world of business, this brief period can be the turning point between a resounding success and a dismal failure. That's right, a mere handful of seconds can make or break your audience's engagement. This is the crucial window where you either capture their interest or watch them slip away. The first five seconds of any marketing message, presentation or story determines the fate of your effort. It's because the art of grabbing attention lies in the power of storytelling, not rooted in bombarding your audience with data, mundane pitches, or the great features of your product. It's about crafting an emotional, concise narrative that resonates with your audience. Imagine speaking to someone who's just having one of those mornings. What part of your ad would make them stop and take notice? This is the kind of thinking that can transform your approach. But why is this so crucial? Well, research indicates that the average human attention span has decreased to just 8 seconds, surprisingly shorter than the 9-second attention span of a goldfish. In an era where focus is constantly divided, the competition to capture and hold attention has become more intense than ever before. Every creator, marketer or storyteller is vying for a slice of this limited attention span. This reality elevates the initial seconds of your message or story from being merely important to being the critical battleground for capturing attention. Winning this battle means leading with something so compelling that it's impossible to ignore. Remember, attention is not just another commodity, it's a gift. And the secret to earning it lies in those first, powerful seconds. Avoid falling prey to the ostrich effect. Uncomfortable conversations and realities are like band-aids on a wound. You often dread the pain of ripping them off. But in business and personal relationships, avoiding this discomfort doesn't heal anything. It only delays the inevitable and often makes things worse. It's just like the ostrich that buries its head in the sand to blissfully escape from the world's dangers. Business leaders sometimes fall prey to this ostrich effect. They prefer to ignore their problems, hoping they'll magically disappear. This approach often leads to negative consequences, not due to poor decision-making, but rather from the failure to make decisions in the first place. Avoiding critical choices, like addressing underperformance, confronting financial challenges, or adapting to market changes, can steer a business toward decline and missed opportunities. However, there is a way to overcome this cycle of avoidance and take proactive steps forward. The first step is recognition. Admit that there's a problem. Then, introspect. 
What's driving your behavior? Next, it's crucial to speak up about these issues, blame-free. And finally, listen. Really listen to understand different perspectives. This four-step approach is your shovel to start unearthing problems before they grow out of control. Remember, unresolved conflicts are like weeds. They spread and cause more damage over time. Great leaders tackle these challenges head-on. They choose the discomfort of difficult conversations over the pain of prolonged problems. In life, as in business and relationships, facing the truth, no matter how harsh, is essential. Ignoring problems only delays an inevitable, uncomfortable future. By confronting and resolving issues promptly, you don't just avoid pitfalls. You set yourself up for success, reaching your highest potential. So, are you ready to take your head out of the sand? Use the discipline equation to make good use of your time. Your life is a canvas, and every hour contributes a stroke of paint to it. The crucial question is whether you're intentionally crafting a masterpiece or merely splattering colors haphazardly, without any real direction or thought. You see, your most invaluable asset isn't money, fame, or even skills. It's time. Once spent, these moments are gone forever. So, the real challenge is to spend each one with intention, to make your canvas as vibrant and meaningful as possible. Here's an interesting nugget of wisdom. Effective time management can be summed up in what's known as the discipline equation. The essence of this concept is that discipline is crucial for using time wisely and attaining your objectives. This discipline is determined by the value you place on your goal, combined with the pleasure you derive from the journey subtracting the toll or cost it has on you. To harness this formula, start by visualizing your goals. Make them so clear in your mind that they feel tangible. Then, turn the journey towards these goals into a game. Find a group of like-minded people, set up fun challenges, and keep score. This gamification adds an element of fun and accountability, making the process engaging. And here's the clincher. Remove any friction that makes the journey harder than it needs to be. With clear goals, an engaging process, and minimized costs, you can summon the discipline to spend your limited time on what truly matters. Ultimately, it's important to remember that the concept of death, while seemingly grim, serves as a potent reminder to live life with clarity and intention. It underscores the importance of living deliberately and with discipline, avoiding unnecessary distractions. Consider your time as a precious resource. Use it wisely and embrace life to its fullest. Build a winning team with the three bars framework. A team is only as strong as its weakest link. In the pursuit of excellence, every member has an opportunity to raise the bar. But what happens when a star player, once a trophy bringer, starts to dip the scales in the wrong direction? In the world of business, where every decision can alter the future, there's a fundamental principle that top leaders adhere to. Uphold your company's culture with every hire, fire, and promotion. It's a testament to the belief that a robust company culture is the backbone of any successful enterprise. In this delicate balance, even the most skilled employees are subject to evaluation if their actions or attitudes risk undermining the core values of the company's culture. Have you ever considered the impact of one bad apple on a team? Research paints a startling picture. One such individual can lead the whole team astray, tarnishing the collective behavior and spirit. So, what do you do when faced with such a predicament? The answer, though tough, is clear. They need to be let go. Now, how do you gauge who's lifting your team up and who's dragging it down? This is where the ingenious three bars framework comes into play. It's a straightforward yet powerful tool. Ask yourself, if every team member mirrored the values and attitude of a specific employee, would they raise, maintain, or lower the company's average performance and morale? Those who raise the bar, the true champions of your culture, deserve not just recognition, but promotion. Their positive influence needs to be spread far and wide within the organization. On the flip side, those who lower the bar, regardless of their talent or past triumphs, have to be let go. 
Their presence is a liability to your company's culture, a cost too high for any business. The three bars framework can be applied to recruitment too. Every time you hire someone, it's an opportunity to elevate your team's standard. As a leader, brace yourself for these bold decisions. They're not just administrative actions. They're declarations of your commitment to a thriving, positive and strong company culture. To the Diary of a CEO by Stephen Bartlett, you've learned that success in various aspects of life and business hinges on strategic approaches and mindset shifts. From prioritizing key areas of personal growth, like knowledge and skills, to influencing behavior through the power of questioning and the Goldilocks effect, each of the seven concepts we've outlined offers unique insights. The importance of the first five seconds in marketing emphasizes capturing attention quickly, while the ostrich effect warns against the dangers of avoidance in decision-making. The discipline equation highlights the value of time management and living with intention. In team dynamics, maintaining a strong company culture is crucial, with the three bars framework guiding leaders in making impactful personnel decisions. These principles, ranging from personal development to business leadership, provide a comprehensive guide for navigating challenges and maximizing potential in both personal and professional realms.